built in 1942. The Marshall Bank of Ethiopia is an important bank in Ethiopia with over 800 domestic branches and develops to be an international commercial bank. The new headquarters building would become an important landmark in ICANN in Addis Ababa and Ethiopia. The new headquarters building would make an outstanding contribution to the Addis Ababa dynamic skyline. No matter in the sunshine during the day or under the lights at night, buildings made of dozens of surfaces with different brightness and transparency look like vivid diamonds with brilliant bright. New headquarters building of Commercial Bank of Ethiopia would become a shining diamond embedded in the African land and shine in the dazzling city skyline. Construction Demo of Ethiopia Commercial Bank's New Headquarters Building Project Ethiopia Commercial Bank's New Headquarters Building is located in the African Business Center region mentioned in the Modern Ethiopian Development Plan. The building can be divided into six functional blocks, the headquarters office, the leasing office, staff facilities, conference center, business building and underground parking lot. According to the functional properties, any two of them are combined to form the office area, staff facilities and conference center, commercial and parking lot. The total land area is 17,617 square meters, with a total construction area of 147,692 square meters, of which 95,023 square meters on the ground and 52,669 square meters underground. Besides, there are 1,502 underground parking lots, and facade decorative elements height is 100. 86.9 meters. Auxiliary staff facilities and conference center are on the fourth floor of the podium. Business center and a parking lot are on the fifth floor of the podium. Overall building includes four floors underground. 46 stories on ground. The structure is like a cylinder with exterior framework of steel structure and interior space filled with concrete. Section 1 Overall construction process and schedule. 1. Supporting and earthworks engineering. The foundation pit support adopts the program of maintenance pile plus steel structure ring beam and anchor rope. Maintaining piles adopt hand dock pile and maintaining pile. The construction is planned to start on June 29, 2015 and completed on October 6, 2015, which will last for 100 days. Earth is excavated according to hierarchical elevation of steel structural rain beam and anchor. The soil between piles adopts a jet concrete reinforcement with an average 20 meters excavation depth. It is planned to begin construction on October 7, 2015 and complete on January 8, 2016, which will last 94 days. 2. Foundation and Foundation Engineering the project has 34 manpower dock piles located in the tower area, of which perimeter frame column uses single column and single pile, and group piles are adopted in the core tube area. Conference center, business center, and underground parking garage adopt natural foundations. The work plans to start on December 20, 2015, and complete on January 3, 2016, which will last 14 days. Each floor of the basement is divided into ABC, three construction areas, and each area consists of three working sections. The construction of basement plans to start on December 17, 2015 and complete on March 18, 2016, lasting 94 days. 3. Main Structural Project The construction of the ground structure is organized according to three different divisions namely office buildings, conference center, and business center, which are respectively marked as D, E, and F areas. The construction of the divisions of conference center and business center are planned to start on February 14, 2016 and complete on April 13, 2016, which lasts 60 days. Buildings are divided into two construction sections in the way of assembly line construction. External framework system and core barrel are constructed simultaneously. 
The whole tower sets four schedule control sections. The first control section is from 1st to 6th floor, which is scheduled from January 31st, 2016 to April 19th, 2016, lasting 80 days. The second control section is from 7th to 25th layers, which is scheduled from April 20th, 2016 to December 25th, 2016, lasting 250 days. The third control section is from 26th to 45th floor, which is scheduled from December 26, 2016 to September 14, 2017, lasting 263 days. The fourth control section is from 46th floor to the roof, which is scheduled from September 15, 2017 to October 14, 2017, lasting 30 days. Until this day, the entire construction has lasted for 959 days. Basement secondary structure is planned to construct from May 9, 2016 to August 4, 2016, which lasts 88 days. Floor business center and conference center are planned to construct from August 5, 2016 to October 3, 2016, last 60 days. The secondary structure of the ground tower begin to insert construction from the 15th floor starting on September 1, 2016 and completing on October 27, 2017. 4. Mechanical and Electrical Installation Engineering Installation preset and pre-embedded are constructed along with construction schedule. After the underground structure has been checked and accepted, Mectronics installation shall be started which plans to be completed on October 11, 2018. All electromechanical system debugging shall be completed on December 20, 2018. 5. Walls and Decoration Projects On May 28, 2016, when Business Center, Conference Center are checked and accepted, the construction of the exterior curtain wall of the business center and conference center shall be started. After the turret vertical structure is checked in each section, start the construction of the exterior curtain walls and interior decoration. At present, the construction of tower structure is being conducted on 18th floor. On September 14, 2016, business center and conference center curtain wall will be finished and on November 28, 2017, the construction of the tower walls will be completed. Refined decoration shall be started after each section for inspection is completed in primary construction. The construction of basement is scheduled on June 13, 2016, when preliminary decoration begins. On April 11, 2017, the refined decoration of the business center and conference center shall be finished. On August 27, 2018, the refined decoration of the tower shall be finished. The fine decoration of tower is scheduled on September 15, 2016 and shall be completed on August 27, 2018. On January 10, 2019, the whole project will be completed and delivered and the total construction duration is 1,412 days. Section 2. Vertical Transport Planning 1. Tower Crane After entering, first install a 09G41001B R7524 crane. When earthwork is dug to the foundation slab elevation, reserve ramp, then install two tower cranes which are 2009-166R5416 and ZSL650 Inside Climbing Tower Crane. On completion of the installment of tower cranes, remove the ramp, remainder steel ring beam and cable anchor in construction. After commercial center and conference center structure are completed, 0909G41001B R7524 type crane shall be demolished and after tower is capped, use crane of ZSL650 to do basic work on roof. Install R7524 type crane with arm long 40 meters, and then use the well-installed R7524 type crane to dismantle the crane ZSL650 
use R5416 crane to demolish R7524 type crane. At last, when the tower roofing engineering is all completed, R5416 tower crane falls automatically and then use the 25-ton truck crane to dismantle. 2. Construction Elevator There are four construction elevators in total invested in these projects. Two SC200-200TD double-cage construction elevators shall be installed in the business center and conference center respectively after they are capped. To realize the vertical transportation in the construction of secondary structure, and decoration of the business center and conference center. When the installment of elevators and business center and conference center has been official completed, number one and number two construction elevator can be removed, and thus the construction of curtain wall of business center and conference comes to an end. When core tube construction of the tower on the 10th floor begins, two SC200GN double cage high speed elevators shall be installed. After the construction on the top of the tower begins, remove number 3 and number 4 construction elevator and begin the formal installation, and then the construction of wall is finished. 3. Pumping Concrete Towers Floor 30, the following HTB 80C to 1818D type concrete pumps, 30 story and above for HBT 90CH 2122D type Ultra high pressure pump. Decorate 2 HGY 15 cloth machine with the core and columns of concrete filled steel tubular fabrics. Section 3 Base plate mass concrete engineering. Base plate thickness up to 3 meters of the towers, 1744 square meters, 4 layer steel mesh support system in upper erect, stand system from 8th channel steel. Angle steel base, column 5th, 5th, steel beams, horizontal link, rod 16 mm in diameter, and composed of scissors. Maximum one time, 5300 cubic meters of concrete has been poured to launch forward pump. Plan 72 hours to complete the placement. To prevent temperature stress cracks in the concrete, Using self-developed computer simulation of temperature control of large volume concrete technology, simulating the construction environment, predicted temperature change in concrete at trial. Wireless Intelligent Temperature Measure System Continuous Concrete to Guide the Work of Concrete Curing Section 4. Steel Structure Construction Total steel consumption is about 1,000 tons of steel structure of this project. Tower columns outside the core columns and center grandstand roof steel structure wire table consists of two parts. Start frame column distributed in the minus 4 to 26 layer of the towers. Steel core columns minus 4 to 7 layer for the A1 section. A to 13 is the A2 section. 14 to 18M is the A3 section. 19 to 26 A4 sections. Tower typical floor steel structure installation process as follows. Hoisting steel column. Welding connection interface. Template support. Reinforcement. Concrete pouring. After all the steel components designed to deepen in factory production, pre-assembled. Tower section 7 below by two layers of steel column lifting. Single heaviest 13.63 a to 18 M layers by lifting three tier section. Single heaviest 9.63, 19 to 26 layer by lifting the four story section. Main uses a semi automatic welding of carbon dioxide gas shielded welding. Symmetrical simultaneous welding each welding position setup, rainproof shed platform. The welding of thick steel plates by using preheating before welding immediately after heating and slow cooling after welding. Ultrasonic vibration to eliminate stress. Section 5. Tower Construction 1. Integral Lifting Frame Maintained outside the tower body adopts hydraulic integral lifting frame. A total of 44 hydraulic climb frame seat layout, including 12 groups. 2. 
template and supporting frame. Tower core and outer frame columns with shaped steel formwork. Others are used in carpentry, support frame using steel pipe, scaffolding. Q1 core shear wall thickness from 650mm down to 300mm, reduced to 50mm. Q2 core shear wall from 400mm down to 300mm, reduced 50mm. Outer frame diameters from 1,500mm down to 900mm, reduced 100mm. Section 6. Curtain Wall Construction Tower curtain wall is composed of combination unit type, full glass unit type, and beveled unit type, with mass body, many non-standard plates, and heavy single block etc. characteristics. We will cooperate with curtain wall specialized units to do detailed curtain wall deepen design. At least four sections of curtain wall model in two layers shall be installed on the sides. One ring beam orbit shall be arranged respectively on the structure outside of the 23rd and the 46th floor of the tower. Install electric roars and operation hoist baskets. After lifting the unit plates up to the operation floor by the floor hoist, curtain walls below 44 floors will be cooperated to install by an electric ward. Installation of curtain wall above 44 floors uses number 2 crane to cooperate with construction. Section 7. General Contracting Construction Our company will organize a management team with the members from the project management team for African Union Conference Center project and plan to appoint Mr. Song Su Dong as the project manager and three major systems, namely the design, construction, and domestic logistic team system are arranged, including eight functional departments configure the project management team with 40 staffs. Mr. Song Su Dong is the first class constructor and senior engineer in China, with rich experience in international projects, and used to be the project manager of African Union Conference Center project, who successfully completed the task within contractual period. In the construction, trade effort would be put in the professional coordination and schedule management implement a model-first system, strengthen the process quality control, set up a special coordination group for construction drawing design, subcontract management, system joint commissioning, etc., links with much work cross. Coordination and management processes will be detailed through sound management of the total package system, strengthen program management and process control to ensure overall control of the goals, give full play to the mature experience in the application of BIM technology, establish full process data information models to cover the design, procurement, construction and maintenance, etc., and serve the design, construction simulation and collision checking, engineering estimates. Emphasize on doing well deep excavation monitoring and risk pre-control, standardize the scene limp, for entrance, high altitude and cross-operation protection by strengthening safe and civilization awareness of employees, actively use for new technology and management to minimize pollution as well as reduce consumption of natural resources, promote green construction and build green buildings. We believe Addis Baba will continue to emerge all kinds of buildings in the near future and the case pure geometry will serve as national symbols, standing with a unique taste and favorably. We sincerely look forward to work together with Commercial Bank of Ethiopia, abide by the contract commitments, as well as pursue excellent quality to build a new headquarters building of the Ethiopian business into a boutique building following the AU Conference Center in the construction history of Ethiopia and continually has the friendship between the peoples of China, Ethiopia, 